Welcome back, 742 right now. The markets went crazy yesterday. The Dow climbed more than 900 points for its best day in more than two years. All the sectors were up after the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell announced that the Fed's decision to raise short-term interest rates to try and quell inflation. So why did the markets go up with that news? That's what our investment expert Bruce Allen is here to talk about. Bruce has his own company, Bruce G. Allen Investments. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. So you would think that uh, interest rates going up, the market might react negatively, but it did not. Normally it would have. I think there were three big things that happened yesterday. Powell cited a host of very positive economic data, and the Fed has an excellent um, pipeline of information that is not available to all of us. So they, he cited very strong economic data, number one. Number two, he sounded very confident about the ability to lower inflation, slow the economy down without causing a recession. That's typically called a soft landing. And he even said it's going to be either soft or soft dish. <laughs> um, so the market's like that. And lastly, he took the dreaded 75 basis points or three quarters of a percent hike off the table. So the speed with which rates are going up will be slower than what the market was worried about. So it wasn't as bad as, as they thought exactly. it might be. Yeah, so uh, inflation continues to be a problem, though, and especially for, for all of us. What's causing inflation right now? He cited three things. One, he cited the fact that there's been supply chain disruptions, and he cited China and specifically. Um, he talked about how COVID cases and the shutdowns in China are interrupting the ability to transport goods out of China. Number two, he cited the war in Ukraine. Yeah. Russia and Ukraine produce 20% of the world's wheat. The, pr the price of oil has risen dramatically, so wheat and oil prices have risen as a result of the war. So that's causing our, uh, whenever, we, whenever we fill up the gas tanks to be more expensive. And lastly, the labor market, and he cited a number of statistics, is very tight. There are 6 million Americans who are out of work, about 3.6% of us. And for the 6 million Americans that are out of work, there are 11.5 million job wow. openings. So that's why wages are rising, because employers are having to attract workers. Yeah, absolutely. So whenever interest rates go up, it does affect us. Uh, uh, how so? Well, I think the first thing we've seen is that mortgage rates have risen, and they've risen dramatically, Gary. Since August, interest rates on 30-year 30, 30 mortgages were less than 3%. They're about 2.95%. Now they're over 5 So the average home in Denver cost $2,600 a month for a payment in August, that same home is now $3,300 mm. a month. So that's one of the things that we're starting to see. Yeah, so uh, having said all of this, he, he made such a big deal, as you mentioned, of the economy still being good. Yeah, he pointed out that the economic news is very good. And what he cited was something he was a little cryptic about. He said consumer balance sheets, which I don't know about you, but I don't have a balance sheet at home. Right. But what he talked about was that during COVID, Americans saved a great deal of money. In fact, they saved, we went from $13 trillion in bank deposit accounts to over $18 trillion. That's $5 trillion Americans saved. And Gary, we're Americans. We spend it. We're going to spend it. And that's what's <laughs> happening. So we're seeing very brisk consumer spending. And that's what he is very excited about is that um, American spending, which is 70% of the economy, is very robust right now. All right. Well, and you think the markets might keep going up, but you said you'd work on that for me. I'm going to absolutely personally try and push them up today. There you go. All right. Bruce Allen, always good, good to, to see, see you. Good to see you. Thank you.